Hi, my name is Holly Jackson, and I'm going to be doing a screencast on Real Time Board today. Real Time Board is a really useful tool um, for any kind of class where you have to show your process, your thinking, and if you need to um, draw or illustrate something. Real Time Board is an interactive whiteboard that allows you to collaborate with a partner or multiple people on the same digital whiteboard. And so I'm going to take a peek at what it does and how it works today and just do a brief overview. So the first thing about Real Time Board is that it's integrated well with Google, so you can use your Google login um, to make an account and log in. This will help with your students. Um, it looks so much like Google that it will trick you sometimes. So just remember that it doesn't have certain features like... Um, revision history and things like that, but it has a lot of the collaborative features that we would like. So I'm going to show you a little bit about Real Time Board. Essentially once you get in there all you have to do is hit create a new board. So you hit new personal board. And I clicked past something so I want to go back. Hang on. So one really nice thing about real time board is that it has templates that you can choose from so if the digital whiteboard being completely blank is is too blank for you you can tell your students to use say the flowchart um, template and you can just know the name and tell them to search for it um, they have a KWL a Venn diagram um, so you can click on any one of these templates and and use um, a template. I'll click on the Venn diagram one and I can add, but you can see here too you can continue without a template, which is um, usually what I do. Um, so some things about Real Time Board, I'll just go kind of down the toolbar right here. You can change the name up here. Um, You can change your thumbnail, which is really nice. Um, once you get into creating a bunch of these, then you can easily see which one is um, is your Venn diagram. You can duplicate. You can share this with a partner, um, which is really helpful. The collaborative part of it is is really great. Works just like Google when you're collaborating on the real time board. You can actually see the person's cursor and how they're moving and what they're doing on the real time board. So. Um, I'm going to go ahead and name it. Saves your changes automatically as you work. Um, your, you can insert all sorts of files. So you can upload images, video, all kinds of things. Um, you see there's Google Drive embedded right within here. For us, that's really helpful. In Ori County, you can add YouTube videos, all sorts of things to um, the real-time board. This is how you move items. Um, your text is self-explanatory if you'd like to add some text. Um, you can just click anywhere and it'll insert a text box. You can change, here let me move my text box down so you can see. Um, you have all of the formatting tools so you can change things like color um, of your text. You can do lots and lots of fun stuff. Um, you can change the actual box so if you're making not going to be pretty. Um, you can highlight, so if your students are annotating or doing something here, they can annotate and highlight and do all sorts of things. So that's your text box. I really like the sticky notes. Um, you can add sticky notes throughout your real time board, which is really helpful for the students. Why do I keep making them up there? Let me zoom out a little bit. Um, Alright, notice with your sticky note you have some of the same formatting capabilities. You can link things throughout here, which is really great. This turns into something sort of like Padlet. Um, you can change the shape, so if you wanted a square or rectangle, you can make it a small post-it or a medium post-it or large. You can change your color. Um, I like the emojis you can add, so like if you have students putting their exit slips on here and you want them to comment or add an emoji, they can like kind of vote on um, certain sticky notes so I like that a lot or if you the teacher are going in and want to leave a little um, smiley face or a sticker on their note you can do that um, you can add shapes which is really nice if they're drawing something 
Um, my favorite is the freehand, and I'll show you this with the iPad in just a second, how you can freehand draw. And this is what I think has a lot of capability for, say, our math teachers um, who need something for our students to actually solve a problem, but they don't have a tool that they can use on a device. This works both on the um, Microsoft devices that we have and on the iPad because it's web-based. So that's really good. Um, you can comment on anything. So if you wanted to comment on the student's Venn diagram, nice job. You can do that as well. And the students would see the comment and who um, left it. You can actually at mention people, which is really cool, so that you can have like a whole conversation going down here. Um, you always have to click back to the other tool. Cancel, cancel. So if I wanted to select this, I could... So if we're comparing characters, I could do that. Um, the last thing is just your undo button. This button right here about frames, this is how you could almost make a presentation. And I would recommend watching the tutorial on Real-Time Board um, because they go into a lot about the frames. But the frames essentially give you separate workspaces because this is an infinite sort of canvas. You could have frames that go throughout the whole thing and then they sequentially like go to the next thing. So it's kind of like slides in PowerPoint or Google Slides. Like you could have slides that go throughout this space. Or if you've used Prezi before, you can kind of turn it into a Prezi sort of tool um, by using the frames. Um, I'll show you up here. What I love about this tool is it's really easy to share. They can, you can share this link, and the default is that it's open. So if you had students sharing this in Google Classroom, anybody could click on the link and see it. Um, to edit it, you have to give people sharing rights. So um, I'll show you that here in just a second. Another thing you can do to share this is you can save it as an image. Um, you can save it as a PDF. You can download it to Google Drive, which is really nice. Um, it'll download it as a... Um, I think is a link or a PDF, I'm not sure, but that's really helpful. Um, this is how you would share it with your collaborators. So if you had students working in pairs using a like sage and scribe structure in math, for example, they could add their partner to this with their GDOT email account, and that will give them editing rights. So they both can be editing di on a digital whiteboard, which is really, really powerful for us. Um, so that's most of the buttons right here. This search tool is really cool. If you do use this as a, a giant um, planning board or something, you can search um, throughout the whole let me sticky note. So it'll take you right to that part of the board, um, which is really cool. So um, this is a really awesome tool. I want to show you quickly just how um, nice it is on the iPad. Um, if you have stylus pens on the venue or the iPad, um, it would work really, really well. So I'm going to airplay my iPad right now to my screen so you can see um, see that. Make sure it works. All right, well, it doesn't want to work. Hang on just a second. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to go ahead and um, show you real-time board on the iPad. Try to make this as big as I can. So you see that I just went to the web browser, typed in real-time board. It should pull up my account. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and start a new one. And I'm gonna continue without a template. So you see now when I click on the pencil, um, I can choose what color I'd like. And one thing I would recommend is that you have students choose different colors so that um, you get that picture of who's doing what and you can ensure that everybody is participating equally in your class. All right, 
Let me see if I have enough battery to do this. All right, so um, now you can see that students can solve processes. So I, you know, if I were doing a math problem, I could sit here and write out my math problem. My partner can be doing their problem on this side, and we can compare, we can talk, we can collaborate throughout this whole um, real-time board. And you can see how fast you can write. Um, and it's really, really, um, really, really intuitive. So that's one really nice thing about it is that it, it works so flawlessly. Um, I've had several teachers starting to use this and they rave about how flawless it is, like how it, it reliable the tool is. So try it out um, if you like this tool and you find that you're using it often. Um, please document anything that you're doing and let us know, anybody on your digital integration team, any digital integration specialists, um, or just uh, tweet it out at HCS whoop, PDL. Um, that's our hashtag on Twitter. And if you want to tweet me directly, I'm at Ms. Jackson. And I would love to see what you're doing with Real Time Board because it is pretty awesome. So thank you for watching today. And um, I hope that this was a beneficial screencast for you.